पति राघव राजा राम पतित पावन सीता Very warm welcome to our Honorable Principal Father Shaju Ermana, respected teachers and my dear friends. Warm welcome to one and all present here to commemorate World Environment Day, celebrated every year on June 5th. Every year a day is kept aside to create a moral awareness and appreciation for the Earth's natural environment. This year, the UN chose the theme Ecosystem Restoration and selected Pakistan to host the event and provide a platform to discuss sustainable development goals. The focus will be on resettling our relation with nature. Let's see what Ecosystem Restoration means. Ecosystem Restoration denotes assisting in the recovery of ecosystems that have been degraded or damaged by activities like pollution or deforestation. Ecosystem restoration can also be promoted by conserving the ecosystems that are still intact. Healthy ecosystem and rich biodiversity yield greater benefits such as more fertile soils, bigger yields of fish and timber. Ecosystem restoration can happen by actively planting trees or by removing pressures on the ecosystem by protecting the environment and reducing the increasing level of pollution. Niharika will explain the objective of World Environment Day. The main objectives are introducing festivals that evoke awareness on the environment and resolving environmental related issues. Let's take a quick look on how ecosystem restoration can take place. It can be done by planting rainwater gardens which absorbs and traps rainwater, by repairing and replanting forests and other habitats, and lastly, resolving environmental related issues like soil erosion, strip mining, agricultural use, deforestation, overgrazing, and so on. There are four hours of ecosystem restoration. The first one being reclamation, taking an old area and restoring it to a new area suited for better purposes. The second hour being recreation recreating, developing an area to a biological community on site. The third one being rehabilitation, developing after the further development of a area, being able to use it and inhabit it. The last are being recovery, an assisting process of ecosystem restoration. Now, I invite Devyani to highlight our role as students in the Civil Society Initiative of Ecosystem Restoration. Hello everyone. As you all know, today we are observing World Environment Day. But it makes me wonder what my role is as a student and how I can make a change, even in its slightest form, to help bring a positive impact to ecosystem restoration. The agendas of reduce, reuse and recycle are elementary in this process of healing. And being in line with it as a student, I can use Reduce as a key to help envisage and further recycle. 
And so today, I will reduce the use of paper and try to understand the tenets of recycling it so that I can participate in my role as a responsible citizen. I would like to take you through the process of recycling paper. The first step is to shred the paper. Then we move on to the second step, which is to pulp the paper. After pulping the paper, filter the pulp, extract the newsprint by soaking it overnight with some soap and alum. The fourth step is to manually press the paper so as to get rid of all the excess water. And the fifth step is to gently dry your paper with a cloth. And with that, you have made paper. Recyclable and reusable. <sighs> I hope for new beginnings, a better future and a better world. Thank you and have a good day. World Environment Day is a once a year activity, but that doesn't mean that we should only pay attention to the environment on that one day. Respective of the day, organization, event, country, theme, preserving nature is our responsibility. Thank you. Some call me nature. Others call me Mother Nature. I have been here for over four and a half billion years. 22,500 times longer than you. I don't really need people. But people need me. Yes, your future depends on me. 
When I thrive, you thrive. When I falter, you falter. But I've been here for eons. I have fed species greater than you. And I have starved species greater than you. My oceans, my soil, my flowing streams, my forest. They all can take you or leave you. How you choose to live each day. Whether you regard or disregard me. Doesn't really matter to me. Your actions will determine your fate, not mine. I am nature. I will go on. I am prepared to evolve. The question is, are you?